Good morning, little ones. Let us continue with our story, the twelve months. In the previous part, we have seen that uh, Maraukla's step sister Holena and her step mother they have decided to force her out of the house, and they want to get rid of her. They want to be free from her. So they give. What do they say while sending her out of the house? They say, "Go, Maraukla, and get me some violets from the forest. I want to wear them and to smell them." Said Holena. Her step sister puts a very difficult or almost impossible condition. uh to fulfill for maraukla because this is no time to get the violets violet flowers so naturally maraukla says but my dear sister it is impossible to find violets in the snow said poor maraukla maraukla said that it is not possible to get violets at this time of the year because they bloom in the month of march april may and uh, this is january it, uh, everywhere there is snow and uh, you get violet flowers in summer season uh, sorry uh, before uh, summer season but in spring season and this is winter in winter you cannot get violet flowers how dare you are you but holena says how don't oppose me you can't oppose me because i want them and if you don't bring them off you go at once and if you don't bring me violets from the forest i will kill you i will directly give you death punishment no other punishment than death punishment very cruel punishment neither keeping hungry or um, beating or uh, shutting inside the house um, these are not the punishments to be awarded to maraukla she is directly to be killed if she doesn't bring violet flowers and that is impossible to get said holena threateningly threateningly that is terrorizingly um to make maraukla afraid the step mother caught hold of maraukla now holena at least threatened uh, maraukla but her step mother caught hold of maraukla she just caught hold of maraukla turned her out of the door and slammed it after her her step mother directly Uh, forced her out of the door and shut the door violently with a big sound after her maraukla went into the forest weeping bitterly maraukla has no choice now she went into the forest maraukla went into the forest weeping bitterly the snow lay deep and there wasn't a human footprint to be seen now maraukla had no choice so she went into the forest and she was weeping very sadly bitterly very sadly it was snow covered earth at that time and uh, everybody all people were inside their homes nobody was out of their home and therefore uh, footprints of nobody were to be seen uh, anywhere maraukla wandered about for a long time tortured by hunger and trembling with cold maraukla was suffering tortured means suffering she was suffering from hungry she was hungry and uh, because it was very cold her whole body was shivering due to cold at last she saw a light 
in the distance at last there is some hope she saw a light she went towards the glow towards the point that was shining shining point of the light a big fire was burning there and round the fire were 12 stones with 12 men sitting on them 12 men were sitting she saw 12 men sitting on 12 stones and um, they were sitting in round position and uh, uh, there was fire around the fire they were sitting on page number 9 you have the photo you have the picture in which you see fire burning maraukla standing and 12 men sitting round it now they are described three of them had snow white beards three were not so old and three were still younger the three youngest were the handsomest of them all now this is the description of the 12 men who were sitting round the fire they were not speaking nobody was speaking but all sitting silent these 12 men were 12 months now gradually everything becomes clear we divide a year in 12 months and these 12 people are 12 months and the burning fire that is between um, them is that symbolizes sun one year and around that one year 12 people are sitting these 12 men uh, 12 men were 12 months great january sat highest of all it is the beginning of the year his hair and beard were as white as snow it is cold season in western countries uh, in um, actually northern hemisphere northern part of the earth it is winter season at this time and uh, in the month of january everywhere there is snow in uh, particularly in western countries therefore his beard and hair are described as white and in his hand he held a club a club a stick now club or stick is the symbol of authority who ever holds the stick or the club he is in the position of authority and his order is obeyed by all people and all nature as well in the month of january uh, there is cold season and uh, because nature uh, nature also obeys uh, the uh, orders of cold season maraukla was frightened right first maraukla was frightened she was afraid she stood uh, she stood still silently for a time in terror now already she was afraid she was uh, feeling cold and now she was afraid of these unknown people but after some time she became bold and went to these people and said inquired please kind sirs let me warm my hands at the at your fire at least come near your fire and let me uh, allow me to come near your fire and get some warmth from that fire so she asked politely the permission whether she can come near the fire and get some warmth from the fire okay friends we shall see what happens afterwards in the story in the next part of the video thanks